All right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. Ignore the, the water heater noise, I'm sorry if that gets too loud. But today I wanna to show you guys some different MC connector options. As you remember, we already went through stripping the MC. We already went through putting in the anti-short. You just slide that guy right on there. So after that step, you're gonna to want to go ahead and cut off this piece of plastic. Some people, you can cut it before or after, but it's just easier to slide on the anti-short if you leave the plastic on first. So once you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off that piece of plastic, get that out of the way. And then from there, you have three different options. So you're gonna have a snap and MC connector, and they also make these with the lock rings on here um, with the threads. So basically you have a snap and MC connector. Uh, you have a MC90 right here with a lock ring with the threads. This has two screws. I took one off for video demonstration purposes. And also you're gonna have a, a straight MC two, two screw connector like this with the threads right there. So the first option, the first option is like so. You just slide on the MC connector through all of the wires, just like that. Slide it down all the way to the bottom. And then you just push it on. You'll hear it snap, you'll feel it snap. And then from there, that's it. You're ready to put it into your box. Um, to remove it, it's pretty simple. I'll make a video on that another time. Um, so usually when you take out the MC connectors, it will take the anti-short with it. So right now the, the anti-short is stuck in there. Um, but from there, you'll wanna put your uh, anti-short back in um, if you're gonna do a different option, obviously. But for the next option, you're gonna want to take off the back of the MC90 if you're doing that. And then you're just gonna put your wire through it like this. And then you're gonna put the top piece back on it. And then you're gonna put your two screws back in it like this. And then you can take a nice sharp 90 degree angle. And that works really nicely and has a lock nut there to put it into your box. So that's the second option right there. And the third option is the straight MC connector, two screw, and you can kind of just loosen the screws. Sometimes, depending on how thick your MC is, you can just slide it right on there. This isn't, I don't think, is necessarily uh, made for MC connectors or made for MC wire. I think the the one with the the one made especially for MC connectors has a little grate on here, so it holds in the anti short, so this doesn't just completely slide through. So it, there's usually a little metal guard on here, um, which allows the wire to come through, but also stops it right at the end right here and holds on the anti-short. But anyways, um, for this model right here, basically you're just gonna screw down the two screws and then it's gonna hold it on there. It's gonna grip the wire and then you can go ahead and use this to stick it into your box, use your lock nut and all that good stuff. But anyways, those are the three options for uh, MC connectors, the basic options that you're going to see the most out in the field as an electrician. So hopefully uh, this video gave you some insight on how to install these, what they look like, get a little familiar with them. But anyways, hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. As always, drop a like. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see. Let me know if this was helpful for you guys or not. Um, other than that, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.